Let's consider this first question. The upper arm is known as left hand limit, while the lower arm is known as the right hand limit. Both must be equal if this limit will exist. The condition for the upper arm, which is the left hand limit, states that x must not be equal to minus 4 using direct substitution, while the condition for the right hand limit states that there is a function which the x value gave us 5. We just know the answer, but we are not giving the function. Let's solve the left hand limit using difference of two squares a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b in bracket a plus b in bracket applying difference of two squares we have this can now take out this and we are left with 4 minus x next we are going to take the limit of this function as x tends to minus 4. Next, we take the limit of this function by substituting x for minus 4. Beware of this negative. And this, we have 8 for the left hand limit. However, we are given 5 for the right hand limit. And since 5 and 8 are not the same, we conclude that this limit does not exist. Let's consider this question. We are going to check if this limit exists or if it does not exist. To solve this problem, let's recall some absolute value or modulus guiding rules. If the absolute value of x is equal to a then we are going to have two answers x is equal to a and x is equal to minus a and this is true only if the value of a is greater than or equal to zero and if a should have a negative then this function got no solution. With this rule in mind, the denominator, which is this, will become this is minus and 1 we have a plus. With this basic rule, this limit will be splitted into two. One of them will take this and the other will take this. Hence, because of the presence of this absolute value, this entire question will be splitted into two as x tends to 1. Solving this, we are going to get negative infinity and positive infinity. Next, let's apply Le Hopital rule. Differentiate x and you are going to get 1. Next, differentiate 1 and you are going to get 0. Next, differentiate x. And you're going to get one next differentiate one and you're going to get zero and you are left with one divide minus one which is minus one differentiating this as well you are going to get plus one and you can see by applying the hopital rule both are not equal hence this limit does not exist. Next, consider this question. If f of x is equal to square root of x minus 3, find the limit of f of x as x tends to 3. To understand this question, let's consider a number line. The first step is to consider this 3 and here on the number line we are going to locate 3. Next we are going to approach this limit from the left and we are equally going to approach this limit from the right. Let us see what will happen as we make this approach towards 3. Let's consider 
the left hand approach and let's move a bit up towards the left and let's consider 2 and 1. Let's start by substituting 2 into this function. You can see that 2 have given us undefined. Let's try 1. You can see that with the 1, we still got negative infinity. If we continue towards this direction, we are still going to continue having more problems. Let's try 3. At x equal to 3, we got no problem. We got 0. 0 is an answer. 0 is a real number. Let's try 4. At x equal to 4, we got a real number. Let's try 5. At x equal to 5, we got a real number. Square root of 2 will give us an answer. Hence, you can see that here is close towards only this direction, which we can write this way going towards infinity. However, it is close here with 3 inclusive and it continues towards infinity. Hence, the left hand limit does not exist, but the right hand limit do exist. And since both are not equal, we conclude that this function does not exist. Next, the following functions does not exist. As long as each of them has infinity, each of them does not exist. Likewise, the following functions does not exist. It's important to remember these functions because they do not exist. Functions that has oscillating behavior do not exist. Likewise, this function does not exist. However, be careful of this function because this function exists and using the squeeze or sandwich theorem, we can prove that this limit is equal to 1. Hence, this function exists. We are going to dedicate a video in solving problems involving sine x over x. Next, consider this question. We are going to approach this graph from the left. Likewise, we are going to approach this graph from the right. To approach this limit from the left, ignore this and concentrate on only this. Hence, our answer here is minus 1. This is minus 1. Next, we are going to approach this limit from the right. Hence, we are going to consider only this. And at this time, we are going to ignore this. And here, we got 3. Hence, this is equal to 3. This is telling us that the first substitution gave us minus 1. Hence, the shading means we did not apply Lehopita rule. However, from the right hand side, the whole means that we actually got 0 over 0 when substituted directly for f of x. And to remove that point of discontinuity, we applied Lehopita rule and got an answer, which is 3. This is analysis of this graph. We don't know the function, but we can predict their behavior. In conclusion, the left hand limit exists and the right hand limit exists. However, their answers are not the same. This is called jump discontinuity. And we can say this function does not exist. And we obtained all our information from the graph. Next, 
let's consider this function as we approach from the left and also from the right. The left hand limit is tending towards negative infinity. This is going towards negative infinity and this is going towards the negative infinity towards minus y. Similarly, as the function approach from the right hand side is tending towards positive infinity. This is going towards positive infinity on the plus y and this is going towards positive infinity on the plus x. Hence, this function is undefined and we can say it does not exist. Before you check out other videos and calculus and other pre-calculus videos. and multiple solved exam questions in pre-calculus and to locate all the videos follow the link on the screen i will see you in the next video